Professor! Whoa, 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 it's me. Malone? Yeah. You're a lucky man. Take a seat. You said you had a story for me. Sit down. Give me a minute to relax. Rough day in Washington? <sighs> it's always a rough day in Washington. Oh, any news about the, uh, the pilot? The Russians aren't giving us anything. We know he's still alive. That's all. So much for an easy government job. Still better than teaching. Besides, it's not all bad news. You want a good story? Please. I haven't had a big break yet. Well, it's no secret the Russians beat us to putting a satellite into orbit. Of course, yeah. The fear is, if they can get a rocket into space, then get one to the United States. We know they have nuclear weapons. Any day they can decide to put one on a rocket. What we need is a way to disarm a bomb in flight, which, until recently, we thought was impossible. Go on. There's an inventor in town named Theodore Namor, a Latvian fellow. He claims to have invented a disintegration machine. It breaks things down into molecules and puts them back together again. Sounds like a hoax. It's harder to tell these days. Still, if it works, we can't risk letting it fall into the wrong hands. I'm going to go see the machine tomorrow. And I'd like you to come with me. Can I publish this? Seems like it'd be classified, right? It doesn't hurt to let the Russians know we're developing our defenses. We'll spare the details, though. And no pictures of the machine. Right. Good. Well, go home. I'll see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Theodore Nemo, pleasure to meet you. So the science behind this integration is uh, actually quite simple once you get down to it. Think of it this way. Certain crystals, such as salt and sugar, can be dissolved in water and uh, made invisible to the human eye, right? But once water is removed through evaporation, for example, the crystals, they form again, their composition and structure intact. So. My machine simply allows any object to be dissolved in the air the same way salt is dissolved in water. And does the concept is certainly intriguing, Mr. Nemour, but our time is short. Can we have a demonstration? Well, gentlemen, allow me to present Nemour's disintegrator. You ready? First, we target the machine onto the intended object. It only works on small things? Oh, no, my friend. Objects of practically any size and shape and color. However, that is the biggest apple I have. You worked alone on this? No assistant? Uh, none at all. After all, I am the uh, foremost and, well, only expert in this kind of technology. Oh, uh, if either of you have any metal on you, I will have to ask you to put it aside. I mean, you know, magnets and all that. So. Well, ready? Watch carefully. Where is it? The apple has dissolved in the air. And there it will remain. Until I press this little red button right there. Let's see it then. Oh yes, certainly. Ta-da! <laughs> well, it certainly looks impressive, but if you'll pardon my skepticism, such things can be faked. True. True. A simple object could be a parlor trick, right? Hmm. So, why don't we try another demonstration with something a little bit more, well, complex? Uh, what? How about the paper boy? Mm. <coughs> 
<coughs> You've tested this on humans before. Oh, yes, it's perfectly safe. And I mean, what better way to prove an authentic disintegration? I'm not sure I'm comfortable see, with this. You'll be able to let us know if there's any, well, trickery taking place. And we'll be able to see whether he's come back uh, properly. I'll do it. Excellent. Well, right this way. Uh -huh. It didn't work. Nothing happened. You see, restored exactly to his prior state. That's amazing. Sorry, I don't understand. You've been gone for nearly five minutes. So, you're satisfied then with the machine, Professor? Certainly. But I was here the whole time. Oh, no, 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 no. You... You... You were disintegrated. But then every teeny tiny cell all the way down to your memories was restored. Just as before. I've never seen anything like this. Well, no one has, Professor. Well, now that you've seen the machine work, I'm sure you wouldn't mind being the subject yourself. I mean, after all, I think our reporter deserves to see the machine in action. Hmm? Of course. Well, right this way then. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Wonderful, isn't it? The unique personality of Professor Challenger just dissolved in the air. Should we bring him back? Oh, what's the hurry? I mean, think about this. Right now, Professor is in between worlds. Neither living, nor dead. <laughs> I don't know where he goes, but I can keep him there for as long as I want. Or even better, never bring him back. Can the machine disintegrate things permanently? Oh, see, that's the beauty of it. You can eliminate one man, a bomb, a tank, an entire army in a split second with this machine. The power, oh, the power is unimaginable. Bring him back. What? Are you going to make me? I'm only joking, but not to worry. <sighs> Did it work? I felt nothing at all. Fascinating. I must congratulate you, Mr. Moore. The function appears to be flawless. Oh, stop it, Professor. You're making me blush. <laughs> Do you mind if I look at the machine? Not at all. I have a few questions. Go on. Where'd you get the money to build all this? I funded the project myself. Now, if you, you wouldn't mind, You can't possibly I... have invented all this on your own. Could you explain your... Uh... Well, of course, I used the work of other scientists before me. Like who? Hmm. Well, if you must know, I did learn a lot from one group in particular. The Manhattan Project. The atomic bomb? Hmm. You know all about atomics, don't you, Professor? That research was top secret. Well, it really depends on who you ask. You were on the Manhattan Project? Oh, no, 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 no. Your friend was the 
brains behind the entire operation. Professor, what's going on? How do you know all this? You made a lot of enemies back in the day, Professor. I mean, just exactly how many people did those bombs kill? We stopped a war. Oh, yes, but you, you started another one. And now that the Russians have your bomb too, you just have to take things even further. We didn't plan it that way. Well, you see, that's the funny thing about plans. I thought you wanted to sell your machine to the government. Oh, yes, I do. It's just not your government. Why did you bring me here? Oh, well, it's that big atomic brain of yours, Professor. I wanted you to confirm that the machine was working and that the science behind it was sound. I'm flattered. Oh, and my clients also wanted you out of the way. You see, they're very particular about competition in this kind of industry. You can't shoot us. <laughs> shoot you? Have you not been paying attention? The government knows we're here. They know where you live. Well, they better hurry up then, because we have a flight to catch in six hours to Moscow. Does it be really hard to pin down a murder when the bodies have just vanished in there? At least that's what I hear. <sighs> okay. I'll give you a choice. I can kill you. Or you can work with me. You see, Russians have been winning for a very long time now, and well, you know that. You'd be a great help to us, Professor. We'll never join you. I wasn't talking to you, Teacup. I'm gonna kill you either way. Can you guarantee my protection? Only the best Mother Russia has to offer. You have a deal. Professor! I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, this makes things much easier. Professor, you can't let him do this! Do not test my ability to pull this trigger. Now move. Please don't, please. Please. Out of the air, once it out. Are you all right? What happened? It must have been an accident. Rough model like this. You never know what might go wrong. I think it would only make matters worse if we tried to fix anything, don't you? I suppose. What are we gonna do with all this? I'll have a team come by and take it apart tomorrow. At least you'll have something interesting to write about. Inventor disappears without a trace. Don't you think we should at least try? Alone. The world's a better place without Theodore Nemore. Let's not discuss it further. Malone? Mm. Do you mind? Oh, right. Yeah. 